what is going on you guys it's your boy white album here welcome back to another episode of witch on the holy night last time we had finished off the rest of the honey adventure got that one all finished up and then we started the uh side story anyone can sleep but not laugh which is the uh choose your own adventure side story so here we go let's get on with it shall we load yes okay here we go oh out in the hallway i ran into ozaki she seemed to be on her way uh from the bedroom to the hall you taking a break too ozaki is that your room at the end Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone real quick. I don't want to be too loud for you guys. Um, yeah, but I'm not going in there. I'm just looking for something. Don't mind me. Ozaki took the stairs down to the first floor. I unlocked the door and entered my room. Nobody was inside, and there was no sign of any items having been disturbed. Oof, <sighs> I'm beat. I plopped my butt down on the bed. I was always self-conscious around Tsukiji, but Miss Kuonji made me nervous in a different way. For some reason, I always felt a pang of guilt whenever she looked at me. It was like being gently interrogated, being confronted with all of my life's failures. I doubt she meant me to. I, I doubt she meant to make me feel like that. Wait, I doubt she made what? Sorry, I doubt she meant to make me feel that way. I'll, uh, it was just how I reacted to her. Nobody was perfect after all. I don't know how Aozaki and Suzuki can live with her every day. I can only respect them in that. Aozaki simply had an iron will. I bet she lived her life without any regrets. Suzuki was completely different. It was clear he was just oblivious to how scary Miss Kuonji's gaze could be. I mean, to be fair, she has threatened that dude to kill him. He has threatened to kill him like, on a few occasions. <laughs> anyway. I fell backward onto the bed. Outside my window, the sky was overcast. The weather forecast had said that uh, said the three-day weekend was supposed to be sunny. Not so in the mountains, I suppose. Oh, days and off. At this point, I need six people staying here. Aozaki, Miss Kuonji, Suzuki, Tukiji, and that idiot Hosuke. And Mr. Yamashiro. And Bayo. Miss Kuonji had implied that they were that there were other guests staying here too. This was a Western style house, and people didn't take their shoes off at the entrance, so I couldn't guess their number by counting shoes. For now, I had no idea how many other people were here. Yeah, it's like a thing that they do in Japan. It's like, take your shoes off. We don't do that here in America. Yeah, it's just that we just don't do that here in America. <laughs> I decided to rest my eyes and take a short nap. One trick I picked up from years of part-time work was the ability to sleep in exact 15-minute intervals. 15-minute intervals. Hang on. As I drifted off, I heard a laugh. Or was it a scream? No, nope, you can't laugh. <laughs> yes. All right, 15 minute nap done. I checked myself in the mirror. I took a hairbrush out of my bag, quickly brushed my hair and left the room. As I locked the door behind me, I heard an unfamiliar voice coming from downstairs. A new guest? I didn't hear a peep until I left the guest room. It must have been a great, it must have great, uh, it must have had great soundproofing. 
It's really coming down out there. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to be clear skies all through the long weekend. But I guess we couldn't be that lucky. どうでしょう。ここに集まった人間に問題があるとも取れますが、まあ、エイリ神父に問題がないかといえば、それはそれで首を縦に振れないのですけど。Perhaps the problem lies with the people here. Then again, I can hardly disagree with you if you uh, if you say there isn't a problem, Father. You don't have to say everything you think, you. Or if you read Jujutsu Kaisen's Ui Ui. Because <laughs> that's how it's spelled. That's how that kid's name is spelled. It's Ui uh, Ui. UI, but it's, pr it's pronounced UI for some dumb reason. I, th I think that's how they spell it. I don't remember. Uh, oh, didn't you leave the laundry outside? Please tell me your sheets aren't getting wet as we speak. Don't worry, it's taken care of. I had a feeling something bad would happen today. The guests were from Ida Church. Miss Kowonji appeared to have overheard them. She came out from the East Wing to greet them. Forgive our tardiness. After you personally invited us, how are you feeling? Are you well, Alice? Are you, how are you feeling? Oh, <laughs> I don't remember inviting you, but you're here now, so I suppose that's fine. This way. Only prepared a seat for Ritsuka, but I'll get some more chairs. No need to go, uh, to go out of your way. Father Ari and I will be leaving soon. If there was the need to sit down, we can just sit on Ritsuka. Hey, that's me, Yui. And what makes it worse is that you're not even joking. You should be nicer to your big sister. <laughs> Let's call these guys Team Church. Miss Kowonji let Father Ari and Yuka into the drawing room. Father Ari looked like he was enjoying himself. He was so laid back, with the permanent smile on his face. It was hard to tell how he really felt about being here. Sister Yuka was clearly unhappy. Then again, like Father Ari, her expression really changed, so who knew how she really felt? And then there was... Oh, Kojika, ciao. Ritsuko, I wonder what manner of beast lurked beneath that cheerful veneer. Probably not even a kitten. Hello, Miss Ritsuka. I didn't know you were invited. Yeah, Ellie told me. I definitely had to come. <laughs> Father Ari and Yuka both got a letter from Akko. What a weird nickname to give Aoko, but sure. Wait, does that mean different people got different invitations? Seems like it. I was invited by Suzuki. Ritsuka was Yukio's sister, and not a real member of the clergy. She was a regular citizen of Mizagi, and I saw her every now and then in the shopping district. 
Anyway, what's with the deal with the weather? Ugh, I know, right? It started raining. But hopefully it'll clear up soon. Funny enough. Looks like it wants to rain <laughs> rain over here. Because I can see some uh somewhat some like grayish clouds. Ritsuka glanced outside, concerned. I Ooh, decision D. The rain going to get, the rain's gonna get worse. The rain might turn to hell. Hell? <laughs> hell, there you go. I should just go home. Uh hmm. What if I just went straight home? <laughs> End off the series right here. Just go straight home. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'd say the rain's going to get worse. I'm sorry, Ritsuka, but it looks like the rain's only going to get worse. Uh, it's only to get... Fuck. It's only going to get worse. Ugh. It feels colder in here than it does outside. Yeah, it's called air conditioning. Yeah, let's move to the drawing room. I agree, but... Uh, well, Sojiro's business is Sojiro's business. I was going to wait for him, but there's probably no need. Suzuki was outside? Yeah, cutting grass near the road. He was going at it hard. Like he's expecting royalty. Bro, why are you expecting royalty when you already got the boy fucking Tobi Maru Tsukiji in the house, bro? He's already the royalty is already here. <laughs> I can never figure out what made that guy tick. It was too try it was too tiring even to try. We moved to the drawing room in search of warmth. The clock strikes. Uh what is that? Uh I don't know. <laughs> can you read? Can you tell I don't know how to read an analog clock? I mean I I know how to read it somewhat, but <laughs> The rain showed no sign of... It was six. That it was six. Don't think about it. The rain showed no sign of stopping. In fact, it seemed to be getting stronger. The sun hadn't set yet, but it was already dark as night outside. The party had yet to begin. Looking over the drawing room and the sun room, I saw everyone engaged in conversation. Their card game Hosuke brought had caused a stir in the drawing room. It was getting competitive, competitive mainly. Competitive. What the hell is wrong with me, man? <laughs> it was getting competitive mainly. Are they playing Uno? That'd be crazy. They had Uno in the eighties. I'm pretty sure they did, right? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Just reading that sentence. No. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, they were playing a fantasy themed construction game from Germany called Puppet Pass. Is that real? It was basically the kind of game where players try to sabotage their opponents, so everyone was putting the. Uh, forced on smiles when they schemed against each other. In contrast, the older people in the sunroom were drinking wine and watching the students intently. I'm surprised you're allowing people to roam around before the birthday party, Alice. Had a change of heart? Oh, okay. No, not particularly. I made walls where I didn't want people to go. It's only for today, so no one should get lost. You made walls? From what? 
アリスちゃんったら大げさなんだからそりゃでけえ屋敷だけど迷子になんかなりませんよ<笑> What do you mean about people getting lost? I know the mansion's big, but it's not that big. What does that no cacusmo yo is the cretano, eh? Yorinat that a kairu yo tedakedo, Kokorozuka, what does got you now? Thank you for preparing guest rooms for us, by the way. I plan to lean this evening, but I appreciate the gesture. You tell, said Kakudashi, cooking at the conai. Since we're here, Yui, why don't you go change? Onesan no China Doris to Kakasta Gerikara. I'll lend you my key pal. I think that's how you say that. I know what that is. It's a I think it's like a Chinese style dress. Um but I, I've never knew how to like pronounce it. But then as they say key pal. Uh even a nun shouldn't attend a party in her habit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Taking off my mystic coat in a witch's house would be tantamount to suicide, unlike you. I'm not here for fun. Oh, sorry, let me say it so you two doesn't strike me. Unalive. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we are here for fun, actually. Even I came unarmed, but Sister Yuka insisted. <laughs> Why do you always have to be so on edge? Like you're ready to fight at any at, at what at a moment's notice. <laughs> Well, someone has to be serious out of the three of us. Damn. My homegirl's on heat, bro. <laughs> the clock struck six. Outside, it was completely dark. With Mr. Yamashiro and the church staff here, it, was, it would probably be safe to go home tonight, but the rain gave me pause. Well, I think it's about time we got ready. Has anyone seen Toki? Ms. Kuonji declared the end of the card games with an unexpected question. Toki? 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 Who's Toki? You mean Mr. Tokitsu? He's uh Wait, Kojika, you haven't spoken to the old man yet? What old man? Are there even more people coming? How many guests are gonna be at this party anyway? Me, Aoko, Suzuki, Tsukiji, Kinomi, you, Toki, and a few others. Thirteen in all. Thirteen. That's not a good number here in the States. Do they have that superstition here? Or over there in Japan where like do they do they have a Number that's like considered bad luck because I know here in the United States it's like 13. We haven't been able to get everyone in the same room yet, though. Hmm. 13. 1, 2, 3. I counted the people in the room. Decision E. The number adds up. The numbers are off. I've seen Suzuki come to think of it. Ooh, well, let's see. Numbers add up. The numbers are off. I've seen Suzuki come to think of it. We'll go with that one. I haven't seen the boy in a hot minute. Just then. Got <gasps> a helicopter? I heard a strange sound outside, like it was cutting through the wind. It grew 
in a loud roar, and I'm assuming a loud roar, it grew into a loud roar that seemed to pound the very walls of the building. Unless that's a real word. While we were all distracted by that, who the fuck is this? Damn, this bitch has a helicopter? You got some nerve to exclude me, you little nursery rhyme girl. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> you call these dimwits to your birthday party, but not everybody's favorite English beauty, May Riddle Arcalot? The girl who arrived was several times louder than the storm. Maybe she was the storm. <laughs> Riddle? I thought you had other plans. How the hell did you even get here? Uh, by helicopter, obviously. <laughs> the music. Remember this well, Tubby Maru. Unlike you extras, nothing is impossible for me. With a snap of my fingers, I can send missiles flying from the other side of the earth. Yeah, missile to Well, uh, don't do that. Without so much as a glance in our direction, the girl walked up right uh, walked right up to Miss Kuonji. She was dressed in pink from head to toe. It was more accurate to call it a strut than a walk. Her boots made an aggressive clacking sound as they struck the ground. The association. Oh, so is she another one? Or is she like another student? Well, the association's creme de la creme, adored by countless admirers, the first witch star in history to pass out a hundred million fans has taken time out of her busy schedule to come here for you. Okay, so she is a witch. Well now, how does that feel? You must feel so terrible. But such a wonderful surprise beyond your wildest dreams, no doubt. Go ahead, weep with joy. Wow. I never thought I'd see the day Miss Kuonji's stoicism replaced with pure irritation. The girl in pink nodded smugly, uh, smugly down at Miss Kuonji before finally noticing the rest of us. But, <laughs> Atrocious. Who are these nobodies? I thought this was a birthday party. You have a terrible taste in company. Oh, are you really so sick in the head as to call your enemy or your parents' enemies here? I'm assuming she's talking about the church. <laughs> Hey you, priest boy. Why don't you kill? Oh, why don't you kill? Not yet. Hold on. Uh, why don't you kiss our feet, drip, eat chicken, and then hang yourself? What the fuck does that inside entire sentence mean? Kiss our? Okay, so I guess the kiss our feet thing. Strip. That makes sense. Eat chicken. What is have? What does eating chicken have to do with anything? And then hang yourself. That that's pretty. That's pretty obvious what she means by that. <laughs> <laughs> you are the absolute last person I want to hear that from. Hmm. Perhaps you should be the one. Perhaps you're the one who should be apologizing to Alice. When you steal something, it's only right to return to the proper owner. I'll have you know I paid her back in full, thank you. 
ッシュで受け取ったんだしあれはもう私のものガイアがいちいち口挟んでんじゃないわよ Alice accepted the money, so it's mine now, fair and square. Mind your own business. Nanto, Alice sang a kichona pro yo by kaksurto. Oh my. Alice sold one of her precious ploys. <sighs> Okane de kaikets de kiru mondai janai to nando mo itano dakido. Konoko, she hon shugi no inu dakara. Do it demo kaish de krenai no. I told her over and over again money that. What? Okay, this is a definitely a translation error and like a typing error. I told her over and over again, money, that money won't solve the problem, but she's a materialistic dog, so she won't return it. Okay, so I told her over and over again that money won't solve the problem. She's a materialistic dog, so she won't, uh, she won't return it. There you go. I think they added the word money in there twice by accident. <laughs> Oh, sweet Alice, still playing coy. That's just a savvy way of pushing me to increase the price. Hey, uh, your highness, that girl is something else. I could swear I've seen her somewhere before. Is she a friend of Alice's? Oh, trust me, you're just imagining things. Forget about it. She's nothing but trouble. All harm, no good. So, 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 yeah, you're right. I probably couldn't handle her. Despite whether whatever Tsukiji was saying, I knew the truth. Her name was Riddle. Yeah, we figured that out. She stayed at Tsukiji's house for a time. Apparently, their fathers were business acquaintances. Well, I say she stayed with him, but the Tsukiji estate was so large they were basically in different houses. Or at least, I hope that was the case. Ichiyo. I suppose I should ask. Riddle, what are you doing here? What do you mean, Alice? It's your birthday. When I called Toby Morrow's house, they told me the young master is attending a birthday party at Miss Kowonji's house. I don't know why I just did that fucking accent. <laughs> it just slipped out of me when I when I when I read that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna replicate that. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't let that slide, so I canceled my concert at the last minute and flew here. My concert. Oh, so she's a singer. So she's like a an idol. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense with the like the Lolita type getup she's got going on. Wait, so she's a witch that's also like a music idol? That's pretty cool. Anata, really? Do you even remember when my birthday is? Of course I do. I could forget mine, but I can never forget your. Wait a second. It's still autumn here, isn't it? <laughs> Glad to see you haven't lost your mind completely. I hit your head a little too hard last time, remember? You have me ever so slightly worried that I might have caused your uh, caused you brain damage. Toby <laughs> Moore, you liar. It's not Alice's birthday at all. Yeah, 
クオンジテで誕生会をするからぜひ参加するようにとだな。I'm gonna chapstick when I start doing this fucking. When I start reading this shit, dude, my lips are so fucking dry right now. <laughs> Wait. The invitation definitely mentioned a birthday party at the Kuonji estate. So, so, I'm going to pay for 2,000 yen to the invitation to the party. Mine, too. Man, that invitation cost me a fortune. 2,000 yen from the press? Can you believe it? Wait, I was the only one who had to pay. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But it's not Ali's birthday, right? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. <laughs> Oh, Skate's face. Because he, he had a fucking pay, that's funny. Hmm, looks like there's been a misunderstanding. Yes, we're here for a birthday party. But not mine. It's Toki's. He wanted me to celebrate his birthday. So I simply made the mansion the, the, the venue. I reread the invitation. You were cordially invited to a birthday party at the Kuonji estate. Now I see. I didn't say anything about whose birthday, uh, whose, yeah, birthday party it was. Hey everyone. What are we all getting so worked up about? Wait, Riddell Riddle? What are you doing here? What? I choked on my own tongue there. What are you doing here? What about your concert at Tokyo Bay? <laughs> I haven't said the VCR to record it. It's been sabotaged. The curry I had for lunch today was too spicy. But that's your fault. That kind of reason, or what the hell kind of reason is that? Apologize to the god of music right now. What about your fans? And of course, for some reason, Aoko would be a fan of this person. <laughs> nah, bro, she just said you yapping. Huh. Ugh, it's always yap, yap, yap with you. Yo, she just said quit your yapping. She's like, I'm not gonna listen to all that. <laughs> Make sure my phone is actually on silent. Ooh, it is not. That would have been a predicament. I don't care about music or any of that crap. So fans support me financially. That's it. I always ended up feeling all emo after concerts anyways. And that's when the razor blade comes out. Damn. Okay, that, that kind of that took a slight dark turn. <laughs> Even when I'm in the spotlight, no one really sees the real me. Whoa, that took a dark turn. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> Chirping sweetly, a blue robin landed on the girl's shoulder. Oh god, okay. How the hell am I gonna read this? Okay. Nothing ever rifles rangers with ye, May. Your emotions are all over the place. You come into a room like you own the place like you own the place and uh, should I I don't know, like what type of accent do I give this? And they complain about no one seeing the real you. Come on, you're definitely more a mingle and ringer than a mage. Oh, 
I know, sorry. They just, uh, I'm just tired of, you know what? I've never seen my efforts pay off. I go around thinking I'm the best of the best, when really I'm the lowest of the low. Just a dumb clown. That's crazy. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> I already know, so leave it alone, Robin. Or I'll chop you up and feed you to a dog later. Our newest guest was talking to a bird. It was one of those crazy pop stars you hear about in the tabloids. Ah. So it's Mr. Tokitsu's birthday today. <laughs> we wonder why we've been invited, but now I understand. Sister Yuka even suggested we come fully armed because she thought it was a trap. Well, I know the context clues. <laughs> Ahem. So, Miss Kuonji, where is the guest of honor? We haven't seen him yet. Hmm. Now that you mention it. Aoko, Toki wa? Aoko, have you seen Toki? Eh? He's not here? But he was in charge of the dinner, dinner arrangements. He told us we could take it easy, but he'd be arranging some top chefs. Hmm. That's a bit weird, isn't it? But if that was the plan, the chefs would need to be would need to arrive by four at the latest in order to make it in time for dinner. Hasn't anybody seen Yurihiko? Why do they why do they always draw Hosuke with no nose? It's like the funniest thing to me. <laughs> uh, he was here until noon, but I haven't seen him since. I haven't seen him at all. I stepped out a few times, but he wasn't outside either. It's been nearly five hours since noon. Has no one seen him during that time? The room was silent. Everyone seemed to be waiting for someone else to say something. Even Hoske and the pink-haired girl didn't have any banter to offer. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm? Why the place go all Simon said? Are we about to do some karaoke? Don't you know I'm good at uh, not what? Don't you know I'm so good at knock your rhythm and blues right off? I'm a rock robin, you see. Just stick a microphone underneath my beak and. The only one way of making any noise was the robin on the table. It was bobbing its head in a strange way. Ah, it's our boy. Ah, everyone's here. Is dinner ready? The voice cuts with the tension. A young men, looking calm and composed, had arrived. He's like, oh fuck, did I murder somebody? <laughs> he must have picked up on the mood in the room. Right? With his staple, unreadable grin, Suzuki looked around the room and at everyone gathered. Uh, by the way. Nah, you can't say it like that. My man said, okay, she said. Oh, and by the way, uh, Mr. Tokis is dead in the uh, in the attic. What should we do? <laughs> he, he just says that she's no like so nonchalant, bro. Like what the hell? <laughs> what? 
That's fun. I fucking love I love Sojiro. God dang, he's, my, he's definitely one of my favorite characters in this game. Oh dear. We were on the third floor. A hellish scene greeted us in the attic directly above the hall. In the center of the room was Yurihiko uh, Tokisu. Or so we believed. Damn, he did, damn, they cut his head off? The faceless body had been burned, and most of its limbs mangled. Only the torso remained in a vaguely recognizable shape. A burning stench filled the air inside the soot-covered walls. Was he attacked by a fucking... A, a wendigo? A skinwalker? What the fuck? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our fucking murder mystery has begun. This is not canon, right? That'd be crazy if this is canon. <laughs> okay. Well, it's, considering this is set a year after, then that'd be crazy, but who knows? Can't tell us whose face that is anymore. Well, that's definitely the old man's suitcase. Yeah, forget it. I ain't looking. <laughs> Good old Toki. Grand doys, even in death. Hmm, I'm in the mood for barbecue now. Way to line up the mood there, Veo. Hey. Was the room locked? No, Sojiro's room. I, I, I mean, the attic doesn't have a lock. Anyone can come in. Okay, I was not prepared to hear the, um, uh, the, I was not prepared to hear that. She said, well, shit. <laughs> Looks like an explosion killed him. Yeah, she just said, have said shit. I love it. I love it. The, the, what, what is the word? What, what is the combined word for Japanese and English? Because I know for here, if you speak Spanish and English, it's called Spanglish. <laughs> a fun fact if you didn't know that Spanglish is a thing Janglish sounds weird but I think that could work Janglish <laughs> um yeah but she, she, she's like shit <laughs> I love that that was great <laughs> Uh, I don't see any source of combustion, though. Though, did Yurihiko like playing with explosives? I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't put it past an artist. <laughs> all right, let's just all calm down. I think this was premeditated. This is a crime scene. <laughs> is this flower? Kosuke remained on the second floor, trembling. The rest of us took turns surveying the scene. Hey, say anything, say anything you want about Ritsuka, bro, but when it gets serious, it gets serious. <laughs> Nobody touch anything, okay? <laughs> Look around in pairs and make sure the other person doesn't do anything suspicious. Allie, do you mind if I call the police? Thanks. I'll go use the phone in the foyer. Let me guess, she's gonna try and call and be like, the, the phones don't work. <laughs> On the orders of the now quite animated Ritsuka, we moved about in pairs. Since Hosuke ran off, I ended up paired with Tsukiji. <laughs> Damn, what a way to go out. <laughs> Who kills someone with an explosive? I was surprised Tsukiji already saw this as murder. Uh, you don't think it was an accident? Huh. No, I don't. There's zero chance Tokisu would handle explosives in the Kuonji house. 
この胴体ちょっと見てみろ腰のあたりに妙な焼け跡があるこれロープじゃねえかな Uh, just look at his torso. There's a faint, there are, well, there are faint scorch marks around his waist. Could it be rope burns? It's possible if he was tied up and held prisoner. Tied up and killed with a bomb without anyone noticing? Yeah. <laughs> It's funny because we actually did see uh Tokisu like earlier in the uh, in the beginning of the story. But why? Ah, uh, why indeed? Who would go through this much trouble? I suppose the advantage of using explosive is you can detonate them remotely at any time of your choosing. Helps with creating an alibi. Wow. Dead body or not, Tsukiji didn't stick, uh, skip a beat. He stayed calm and composed as he analyzed the situation. At times like this, he seems so perfect. Actually, whenever I see him get serious about anything, he was so damned cool. You're so cool. <laughs> but now I know what the murder weapon was. Bread. Hi. Huh? A voice called out for, uh, to us from below. Down here, everyone. We got a problem. Let me guess. Is the phones don't work? Yep. <laughs> So that was I saw that one coming from a mile away, man. Come on now. The phone line is out. Sukiji so and I looked at each other. Kumari, Yikso. No, we okay. Uh yeah. Uh, we should check it out, Kumari. I nodded, and we exited the uh, the attic together. Damn, I don't know how to drink water, apparently. Father Eri closed and locked the door behind us after we returned to the second floor. The sound of the rain was deafening. We gathered around the telephone. The phone's disconnected, or rather, the line itself has been cut. We can't call anyone, let alone the police. You know what you could do? This might be a little old school, but write a note and put that on Robin's leg and have that little bastard fly to the police station? Uh, that's what I would do? Or just do smoke signal signals. That'd be <laughs> smoke signals and the, uh, to, to call the police for murder is like wild to think about. <laughs> I'll go tell them in person. Nah. No, wait, we shouldn't go off on our own for the time being. Besides, look outside. The priest pointed to the skylight. Raindrops struck the glass hard in a thunderous cadence. At this point, we were in the midst of a full-blown storm. We'd all come on foot, so it, was, it would be risky to go back to uh, down the mountain in this weather. However, Father Eri hadn't stopped Suzuki for his own safety. If anyone wandered off by themselves, those left behind would be in a precarious position. For instance, it would be easy to destroy evidence without any witnesses around. For now, let's all head to the drawing room. We should talk over what happened until we can call the police. Everyone agreed with the priest. Everyone except Hosuke. He seemed to be waiting for someone to reveal that this was all an elaborate prank. Feeling a slight chill, I glanced at the front door. Just faintly, I had a sense that something was off. 
Outside, the, re the rain became a torrent. With my mind in a haze, I... Something horrible is about to happen. Something crazy is about to go down. I'm just glad I was paired with Tsukiji. Mm, what should we go with? Let's go with something horrible is about to happen. I feel like something horrible is about to happen. Uh, things sure have gone out of hand. I silently agree with Ozaki's muttering. Hmm. The weather is getting worse too. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a mudslide tonight. It would be it would be like getting stranded on an island. Seriously? Sweet. Sleep over. Oh man. If Alice gets scared, I can be the one who comforts her. They all looked at him like, Really, dude? <laughs> By all means, go ahead. Another dead person's not going to change anything. Ozaki, Tsukiji, Hosuke, and I grouped up. For now, the four of us were team school. Father Eri, about the body. I know. This is clearly a homicide. But given our location, we can't exactly call the police right away. <laughs> Six years. Six years has been since Alko made fun of my sketchy hobbies. And now, we're here. A real murder scene. It's like a dream come true. Team Church was made of those three. I'd expect them to be the most cohesive group, but that didn't seem to be the case. Hey, Sajuro, where are all the tea and scones? I'm a star, you know. I come all this way and not and I not only do I get a slip uh, slipshod welcome, but now there's been a murder. Have you uh, have you people have what, what, have you people no sense of curtsy? Yeah, well, hold on. The many tea and scones after someone's died is worse than bad manners. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Is the dog barking orders at his master? Don't pretend you're the one with common sense here. Suzuki, uh, the pink, uh, what? The girl in pink grabs Suzuki by the collar and shook him viciously. Aozaki. Aozaki ga futari. Whoa. I see two Aozakis. Suzuki's eyes began to glaze over, probably because her fingers were digging to his carotid artery. So, <laughs> no pink. Mazusona ningen da kedo. Sorejo, sojuro sani fretara. Atamakara maruka jirzo. <laughs> hey Pinky, you don't look very tasty for a human. Put hands off Sojuro before I bite your head off. Oh really? Oh really? Why don't you try it? I know your weakness. 
Want me to beat you again and shrink you down to the size of a mouse? Oh. So you think you know me, do you? Jeff knows how blind you really are. <laughs> Don't forget, your ancestors were a bunch of soot witches born in the Industrial Revolution. I don't know how you've done it, but you're even dumber. Alright, I'm the duck. I'm happy to add another two mangy mutts to the body count right now. There's already one dead guy. What's another six or so corpses on top of that? Meanwhile, the disagreeable, the disagreeable team mansion was centered around Miss Kuonji, who was sitting on the sofa. The pink girl, Bayo, and Suzuki were bickering bitterly about something or other. Hmm. Miss Kuonji, the mistress of the house, remained silent, her expression pensive. That blue robin had gone off somewhere again. Hi, hi, mina sokomade. Okay, everyone, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a wonderful <clears throat> we're in a tight situation this is no time to fight amongst ourselves mr yurihiko to uh, to uh, tokisu has died the mansion's telephone line is out these two things can't be a coincidence. As such, it's logical to conclude that we're dealing with. Oh shit, what did I just do? No. I was messing with my, my buns. Alright, yeah, come on. Oh, yep. What? There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was all me. Murder? So you're saying whoever killed Mr. Tokitsu made sure that we couldn't contact the police? Yes, precisely, Kojika. This is a perfect murder case, and the murderer is someone here. Or I hope so, anyway. What? That's what's going down? Yes, Kinomi. That's exactly what's going on. Or going down. Drop your guard and from behind. Bam! You're dead. Right. So, now, who wants to give their theory first? I never see Ritsuko so excited. Maybe this is how she reacts to fear. Ritsuka. <laughs> Damn, the fucking you could just straight up fucking knock out her fucking sister. That's funny. Allow me to apologize for Ritsuka's unsettling remarks. However, just by her enthusiasm, she has a point. While we can't be certain Mr. Totsu, uh, Tokisu's killer is one of us, we do need to make sense of the situation. That sounded reasonable enough. Father Eri kicked off the proceedings. Well, first, let's start off with the scene in the attic. 
あの部屋は鍵がなくて誰でも入れる状況だった The attic isn't locked, so anyone could have entered at any time. この中で時津のじいさんが屋根裏に向かうところを見た人あるいは相談された人はいる Did anyone here see Mr. Tokisu heading for the attic, or did he say anything about going there? No takers. Either Mr. Tokisu entered the attic by himself without telling anyone, or he had taken there by the killer. Who saw Mr. Tokisu last? The three of us entered the mansion this evening, but we didn't see him. I mean, we've been here since this morning. He was with us then. We've probably her a seat next to Alice. But that's right. Then, oh yeah. I think he looked at his clock, said something about it being time, then left for the drawing room. Despite appearances, Hoske had a pretty good memory. When it came to anything besides studying, that is. In the end, Hoske's statement was the last、uh, eyewitness account we had of Mr. Tokisu. ね、huh. That means Mr. Tokisu disappeared sometime afternoon. This is troubling. None of us have a water to alibi. Right. The time between his disappearance and discovery had been too long. Even though I arrived this afternoon, I have been, been to the bathroom a few times. The same went for Ozaki and Mr. Yamis Hero. I feel the sneeze coming up. No,、oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Everyone had been alone for at least five minutes to ten minutes at some point. The only exception、uh, who had stayed here with someone the entire time was Ms. Kuonji. Well, I think that's where we're going to end it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to save that. But there we go, man. Finally, the murder mystery has begun. So let's see how this is going to go down.、Uh, which is funny because we actually, I think technically the only one who actually saw Mr. Tokisu was Kumari. Considering, like, if you remember the first time she went to her room, she was like, Is that an old guy? What the hell? Who's that old guy there? And、uh, it, was, it, was the homeboy, it was the homeboy Toki. So technically, she was the last one who saw him before he got turned into、uh, mincemeat. <laughs> <laughs> But that's going to be the end for, of this video for you guys today. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.